Hello everybody, welcome to a new video, Jane Speed Shop. Update on the intake manifold. Uh, last video I was turning it around 180 degrees. Uh, if you're new to the channel, as on the 24 project, V8 with a turbo. Um, you can also look in the right corner for you. You can find my logo, click on it, see all the other videos of this project and the rest of my page. So I hope you like it. Put a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. So, what did I do? So let's show you first what's in here. So I made two spacer plates. Uh, I made the, these myself with uh, how you call that in English is I think you call the router. It's like a woodworking machine. It's like this. I think I have a small clip of it that I made it. It's like a People will know what it is. So you have just like um, yeah, it's it's made for wood, but it works on aluminium. I found it on uh, just on YouTube. Some features people using it. I made a table for it, so I mounted it underneath. Uh, I will put some photos below how I did it. Um, do I recommend doing it? You can do it, but it's on your own risk because uh, if you do it wrong, you can lose your fingers, of course. But it worked out pretty good. So, it's now a little bit dirty because it's from the block, but it's an aluminium piece, one centimeter, 10 millimeter thickness, and it's pretty nice if you look how it looks. This is just done with a wood, with a, I don't know how you call this stuff. The piece is just made for wood, but it is not. I used to use it for aluminium, and it's still pretty sharp. But there's on top. It's like an, an uh, one to copy another. Um, how I say it. I first made one from wood, so this is my piece that I made from wood. And then you can just use one with a bearing on top. My bearing flew off. It's this one. The bearing just flew off. Also the other one. So. The thing is with it, I searched for it, and it's possible to get one that's more professional. These are worth very cheap. I think these the complete set was like 20 euros. So, and still, uh, still it's, it's pretty sharp. So, it's only the bearing. So I could make two of them. So that's pretty good. Um, I think I'm going to order a more professional one, and then uh, it, it's it's just very easy. But uh, the thing with the table, it was also made from wood. Uh, yeah, need one from steel, it's more stable, it's also safer, I think. So, why did I do this? Because um, I need to block off also the inserts from the air pump on both sides. So that's now closed, and I need a bit more lift, because otherwise I cannot m mount the throttle body. And first I want to mount it in one piece also in the back here, because in the back here is the EGR. Uh, system that's taking exhaust gases out of the exhaust system and then flows it back into the manifold. You don't want that, it's very dirty for your engine. So, that is this piece. I removed the top half. I first thought I also going to make one for this, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to uh, modify this one, just cut it here, cut it on the side, weld the whole shot and then put a new gasket in it and then use it. That's what I'm going to do. It's just, yeah, I'm not going to use it anyway, so this is a perfect fitment. Now it's a lot of stuff on this workbench. So, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Also, I already made a manifold piece from a throttle body. So, I'm going to put you on a stand, mount the intake manifold on there, uh, and then show you that it fits. Also, you didn't see this, I think. I cut off this bracket. For the people who didn't notice it yet. It's going to be more nice when the piece is dismantled. Because I'm also dismantling the front piece later on when rebuilding and resealing everything. Not going to rebuild the complete engine, but I'm going to reseal this plate. So, that will be also the next thing. So, first I'm going to put it on the stand. And then uh, show you how the fitment is. Also, also for this hole, 
this horse goes nowhere. So why it's in there, I don't know. But uh, if you put some water in it, it just uh, drops out of the engine at the bottom. So uh, I don't know where it is for. Of course, I need to cut this piece off to get the EDR thing fit pretty good, but I will do that later on. So, um, these holes for mounting are like 9mm, mine are 8.5, so I have to search for the, that's a good fitment, and there will be a good copy of the intake manifold, so you don't have parts that is not correctly in between. Also, you need a double set of caskets, of course, that's not really a problem. So, the bolts are like... 30 millimeters long, M8, 8 millimeter. So I bought some uh, new balls. They are 4, 10 millimeters longer. So they will be, have a ring underneath it. So I just put a few in there to show you that it's, it's a pretty good fit. So also it's yeah why sh why I didn't make it bigger like it's now 10 millimeters because if you raise the intake manifold you will also uh, have a longer intake to the intake so the air runner to your intake valve is longer so it can have some influence on your uh, performance can be. I've, I've, I've searched on the internet and there are some people that are running an M113 with a compressor. They have benefits when the intake, they use a spacer of one centimeter. So I didn't read it completely, but I will do that because that could be nice. But that's why I left it uh, like 10 millimeters and not longer because, uh, yeah don't want to influence the intake too much. So, just hand tight. So, it fits pretty good. Only in the back I need to modify it a little bit to fit it. But the plates fit pretty good. I can just use the original gaskets in between. Uh, and an extra gasket on top. Uh, that will close the holes. So, everything is then closed. So, I will move the camera and then you can see the throttle body fitment. So, Original throttle body. Um, use stainless steel for this because the space is small and I had this laying around because you could maybe not believe it but these flanges I had doubly, double made for my V12 project and they just fit. They just bolt on perfectly on this one so yeah. I don't know if it's a coincidence but they fit very good. So, of course, I need some gaskets in between, but now, for now, I'm just going to mount it. With two bolts. They will have some different bolts in it, because I cannot put a socket on this. So, I'll just lose normal, normal bolts in this one. But this is just for... So, this is the fitment. So, as you can see, it's moved to the left, of course, and my intake runner is below there. That's, so, there it has to go. So, why did I mount it like this? Uh, because I have my coolant line that needs to go to here. And I have the oil cooler sitting here that needs to have a plate and also have two lines down that way or two lines go this way so I'm not sure about that yet but there is space and if I'm mounting I'll have to have a look that this pipe 
is not going completely over the radiator because I also need a fan here. So I have to have a look what's the best way to do it um, and not, not have any problems with the cooling line or the oil cooler lines. So I'm first going to make this plate, then I can see how it's all mounted. So that's the next thing. And then I'm going to do something with the throttle body because yeah if the cooling pipe is in front of the radiator it will heat up also by the air that's going through so the best is to have it as high as possible here and then go straight down to there or just a little bit I have to have a look I can make uh, something in between so that it's not heating up by the air that's coming through the cooler but yeah you can imagine that if you got 90 degrees of water in the cooler then you got 10 to 10 degrees drop from air so it's like 80 degrees of air flowing over a pipe that needs to be cooled down so that's not ideal so <coughs> I'm going to fix this first so have a look I'm going to do that I think uh, with the hose I have to have a look but it will be okay but uh, yeah this is the this was this bit is fixed and uh, I think it worked out pretty good so it's doable small mod Pretty nice I think. So, leave some comments below the video. Let me know what you think about my modification with uh, turning over the intake manifold. And uh, if there are any questions, leave some comments below. Send me an email, what do you want? All good for me. So have a look at my website jamespeedshop.com, it's over here. Leave some comments there. And have a look to all the other nice videos in the right corner of my logo. You can click it, you can subscribe to my page. So. Thanks for watching and uh, see you for the next video. Bye-bye.